بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته this is your brother Gibran Romani and I wanted to speak to you about what to expect from your first Ramadan Alhamdulillah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you it might have that you've just became Muslim you've just converted to Islam you've just accepted Islam and now you are about to experience your first Ramadan Alhamdulillah, you've learned your salah, you've learned the pillars of, uh, of Islam, of, of Iman, and you understand you're convinced about Islam. But now you're about to practice Islam. And fasting, you've never done it before. You are worried about it. 30 days, 29 or 30 days of not eating, not drinking, um, you know, leaving a lot of the things that you might do outside Ramadan from before sunrise till sunset. So that's a bit scary. Depending on where you are in the world, it can be a very, very long time, from 12 to sometimes 18 hours or more in some places. So you are worried. You don't think you'll be able to do it. So let me tell you from my experience and some of the other people I've talked to, what to expect from this Ramadan. First and foremost, I'll be very, very uh, clear that yes, it's not going to be that easy. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you. Ask Him. Before you start your Ramadan, make dua. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it a, a great experience for you. Um, an experience where your sins will be forgiven. Uh, an experience full of blessing. Uh, an experience that will raise your faith, your iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That when you finish this Ramadan, you will be a better Muslim. And this is great because you're at the beginning right now and you're taking it in. And inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this will be this will set a precedence for you for the years to come, inshallah, till your last year, inshallah, bidni la ta'ala. So, yes, let's be realistic. It's gonna take some work, it's gonna take a lot of mental preparation. Uh, it will take if you have some time right now and you have a month or you know, whatever time you have left, uh, depending on where you are, um, and what time we're releasing this video, um, make sure that you practice a bit, take some time off. Um, take a day of fasting, take two days of fasting, see how you feel, practice, and then you'll know what to expect in the 30 days. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is um, try to be with your community because expect it to be a lonely time. Um, sadly, if you're coming from a non-Muslim background, a lot of your, a lot of your family, they're not going to fast with you. They're going to be eating in front of you. If you are with your family, they might not understand what you are doing. But you can, of course, explain it to you and take this opportunity to give them Tao. However, expect some feelings of loneliness. So try to offset that by being part of your community. Go to the masjid because there's a beautiful atmosphere at the masjid in Ramadan where people come together, they break fast together. If you are at the university, college and so on, there's a Muslim Student Association. So try to be with these people so you offset that feeling of loneliness. Um, you might experience a culture shock depending on where you are in the world. You might be in a Muslim country, in a non-Muslim country, but you're part of Muslim community. You might see some things that will shock you that it's not part, you know, you've not experienced these things in your culture uh, previously. So take things with a grain of salt. Um, you, you might see certain things that are not actually part of Islam, but they are cultural uh, things from the different Muslim communities, uh, such as people binge eating and people wasting food. So you might say like, well, wait a second, is this part of Islam? Is this Islam really? So try to make the distinction between uh, Muslims and Islam. And the best way to do that is through education. Always try to attend study circles, try to read the books that are recommended by the scholars, by your local scholars and so on. So try to develop yourself and understand what is Islam and what are people or Muslims. Because the culture shock can really have a powerful effect on you and a negative effect on you if you don't take care. And as I said, education is the solution. Uh, brothers and sisters, um, Ramadan is just an amazing time. One thing you can expect from Ramadan is that you will be lifted spiritually. If you fast and you have the sincere intention to do this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you try to be with the community, you try to read Quran, you try to use Ramadan as um, a month to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll find this amazing spiritual boost. 
I remember the first Ramadan I fasted. It was not perfect. There was a lot of issues. I didn't feel, you know, I was, I was feeling tired. However, the spiritual uplift that I received from this Ramadan is unmatchable. I mean, I remember it till today how it was the first Ramadan. Of course, each Ramadan is, is special in its own way. However, that first Ramadan, experiencing it, reaching that last day just before Eid and feeling the, self, the sense of accomplishment was just amazing. I felt that I can do anything, subhanAllah, by the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And keep in mind that by you fasting these days, you're doing something that the, most of the world is not doing. Most of the people don't have the strength, the self, uh, the self discipline to stop themselves from eating and drinking throughout the day. And you are doing it willingly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So expect to feel this amazing spiritual reward, inshallah ta'ala, and take that and internalize it and use it as strength for the rest of the year. And then each Ramadan, inshallah, as they will come, they will make you develop more and more. And each Ramadan, you will, inshallah, climb higher and higher on the ladder uh, of Iman, of faith, and becoming a better Muslim. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.